we apparently were informed by the FBI just a few minutes ago that they would be responding to our letter, the letter that Senator Whitehouse and myself sent to the Department of Justice and to the uh, director of the FBI March 8, 2017, that they would be responding with a cla classified briefing, I think, to the chair and ranking member. I think one of the things that we have um, tried to do here is to um, proceed outside of a uh, classified setting. Um, the intelligence committees are working in a classified setting. The added value I think that this subcommittee's work provides is to be able to have a public discussion. We are entitled to investigate under the Constitution. They have executive responsibilities. And if we are only connecting with one another in a classified fashion, I don't think that serves the public interest. So we will pursue this further. But that's uh, my initial reaction to this news. And the current president says that he believes that the former president, maybe not personally, but the former president through the government surveilled his campaign in 2016. As a matter of fact, today they said they're extremely confident there was some kind of surveillance of the campaign. I have no evidence for that, but I can tell you this, that, that question needs to be answered because I don't think it's ever been raised before. <laughs> and the bottom line is a lot of Americans are wondering what's going on here. And to me, it's very reasonable to ask the, ask the FBI and Department of Justice, did you ever seek a warrant? Was a warrant obtained from any court anywhere about the Trump campaign? If the answer is no, then we'll know that didn't happen. If the answer is yes, that would be pretty stunning to me because they would have to have probable cause. I don't know what the answer is, but I know it's the right question to ask.